everybody, I'm Nathan and today in this PSLE 2017 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 16. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So let's jump straight into question 16. So this is question 16 and this question is testing us on area and perimeter using cubes and cubites, okay? And we need a lot of visualization in order to solve this question. So this question has three parts, part sorry uh, there's two parts part a and part b but in part b there's another two parts so part b i and part b i i okay so let's read the question first for part a there was a cuboid measuring 10 cm by 5 cm by 4 cm tom painted the whole cuboid part a what was the total painted surface area of the cuboid okay so now let's highlight the key information so cuboid is measuring 10 cm by 5 cm by 4 cm over here see it 10 cm 5 cm and 4 cm so tom painted the whole cuboid okay so they are asking us the total painted surface area of the cuboid so if you painted the whole cuboid right it means that it's like the whole area of it you know the whole surface area so the the front side the back side the top the bottom the right and the left okay so in order to find the surface area first i'm going to find the surface area of the top the top area okay and the bottom area okay because these two sides are equal in area okay so in order to find the top and the bottom area we basically take we basically take 5 times 10 cm okay so 10 cm times 5 is one of them so we times 2 so it is 100 cm scores so this is the total area plus top and bottom okay so after that Okay, let me erase the top and the bottom, okay? So, after that, we are going to find the left and the right. So, we are taking 5 cm times 4 cm times 2. So, this is the right, okay? So, the area is 5 cm times 4 cm, okay? So, this is the right. And this is the left over here, okay? So, if we find the area of these two, because these two areas are equal. So remember opposite sides are equal in area, okay? So the left plus right is basically 5 cm times 4 cm, okay? So it will give us 40 cm square. So 5 cm times 4 cm times 2. So the area of left plus right is basically 5 cm times 4 cm times 2, which is 40 cm square, okay? So I hope you understand this. So now what's the left what's the other last area so we have to find the front and the back right so let me highlight it so this is the front okay so we have to find the area of the front so how do how do we find the area of the front okay see this 4 cm over here i'm basically going to move it to the front so this over here becomes 4 cm okay and then we have to find the area of the back so it's basically 10 cm times 4 cm as well okay so i hope you understand that now so now let's find the area of it so front plus back is 10 times 4 cm 10 cm times 4 cm times 2 because there's two of them so it's 80 cm square so this is the answer so so this is the answer for front plus back so in order to find the total surface area the painted surface area we just need to add the sum of 100 cm square 40 cm square and 80 cm square so 220 cm square is the answer for part a okay so, so I hope you understand that. So now let's move on to part B. Okay. So this is part B over here. And let's read the question. 
so this is part b i okay there was a cuboid it's the same thing over here so let's just read part b the whole cuboid was then cut into one cm cubes okay how many cubes did not have any painted surface area okay one cm cubes are basically cubes that are dimensioned in one cm only so this is one of the cubes and all the sides are just one cm okay so l times b times h is basically 1 times 1 times 1. So this is basically what it means by 1 cm cubes. Okay? So they are asking us how many cubes they don't have any painted surface area. Okay? So it was cut into 1 cm cubes. They are asking us how many cubes do not have any painted surface. Okay? So this is basically the step process. Okay, let me erase this because it's overlapping okay okay so over here this is the first thing so i'm going to cut the front and the back by 1 cm so over here it's 1 cm okay okay by right we are supposed to cut the whole thing over here okay by right it's supposed to be cutting the whole thing and then all of this the 1 cm is gone okay so basically in this question right what we are trying to achieve is that it's like in order to find the apple right just take a look like this is the apple right so in this apple if we want to find the white color area right this is a red color apple in order to find the inside right we need to peel off the red color outer area right so this is how we basically find the inside of it but then for in this case we are just going to cut off the front back and top and bottom left and right by 1 cm each because this is a cube right 1 cm cubes so we cannot cut it in half like a 0 0.5 cm we cannot cut it in half we should cut by 1 cm only so i hope you understand the concept now so after i cut for the first figure right the the front and the back this 5 cm basically minuses by 2 understand so 5 cm minus 1 cm minus 1 cm is basically 3 cm okay and then over here is the same thing so this is the after image 4 cm over here 3 cm over here because it's 3 cm and then 10 cm over here okay and then now is where we cut the left and the right so the length is 10 over here right so 1 cm and 1 cm is being cut so 10 minus 1 minus 1, which is 10 minus 2, so it will just 8 over here. So this is the length remaining. So it is 8 cm by 3 cm by 4 cm. So we are not done with the top and the bottom yet. So let's cut by 1 cm each. So the height 4 cm, right, it will decrease by 1 cm and 1 cm. So 4 cm minus 2 cm, okay? So it will give us 2 cm. So the remaining is... 8 cm by 3 cm by 2 cm so they're asking us how many cubes did not have any painted surface area so the number of cubes without painted surface area is basically 8 times 3 times 2 which is 48 okay so just find the area you get the answer already so 8 times 3 times 2 so this is the answer for part b i okay so let's move on to but part b i i so this is question 16 part b i i okay so they are asking us how many cubes have two painted surfaces okay so let's highlight the key information so how many cubes have two painted surfaces okay so they are telling us that they cut into one cm cubes right okay so this is basically the the thing that they cut into one cm cubes so this is 10 cm over here this is 5 cm and this is 4 cm it remains the same okay and then basically in order to find two surfaces right over here all the corners are three surfaces if you imagine properly so it is one surface over here two surface over here and the other side that we cannot see is also another surface okay but then all the edges right all the edges what do i mean by edge pieces so these are the edge edges okay all the edges over here except the corners in the length are two surfaces only okay 
So basically, in order to find the cubes that have two painted surfaces, we just need to find the edges and leave out the corner pieces. Okay. So this is also an edge and the corner pieces should be left out. Okay, this is the edges in the land. Okay, there's two here and then there's supposed to be four, right? Because there's another one over here. And then there is another one below, right? That we cannot see. Okay, so first is the number of cubes with up with two painted surfaces on the length. So this is the length. So basically, there is 10 minus 2 because each length is 10, right? So we minus 2, it will give us 8. Then there are 4 of them. So we times 4. So it will give us 32 cubes. Now, we do this to the... To the what? Can you tell? Okay, wait for it. To the breadth. Yes, the breadth is... Where, where is the breadth? You can tell me. So the breadth is basically here, 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 and here, and the other side where we cannot see, okay? So we cannot take the corner pieces, so it's only three of them inside here, okay? So this is a edge piece, this is a edge piece over here as well, this edge cubes, okay? So there's only two painter surface areas, so then the last one, no sorry, the second last one over here, and then the invisible one that we cannot see down there. Okay, sorry. I think it's overlapping the image, okay? Down there, okay? So there's actually four of them. So we do the same thing. Five minus two corner pieces, then we times four. So there's three times four, basically. So it will give us 12 cubes on the breadth or the four sides, okay? And then now is the... Last area is the height. Yes, 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 it's the height. So we do the same to the height. So the height without the corner pieces is just two of them here. Okay. So two pieces, then two pieces here. Okay. And then another two pieces. And then the other two pieces that we cannot see inside. Okay. So we do the same. So 4 minus 2, it will give us 2. Then we times 4 because there are 4 of them. So it will give us 8. So in order to find the number of cubes with just 2 painted surface areas, we just need to add all of this up. So it will give us 32 plus 12 plus 8, which will give us 52 as the answer for part B, I, I. Okay. So I hope you understand my explanation for this question, question 16. And thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.